Kingdom is back at it here to give everyone another Lost Season 5 episode review video. But before I get into that, it's very important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am in watching Lost, so make sure you pay attention to that episode title. I'll put that title in the description. If that's the case and you're not caught up, then I recommend that you don't watch this video any further. Simply to stay away from any potential spoilers. This is going to be Lost Season 5, episode number 12. The title of this episode is called That is Dead. This will be a Benjamin Linus focused episode. It's going to be my review, reaction, recap of the episode. And it starts off with Ben waking up. He does a lot of this in this episode. Uh, in the other's camp, not remembering that he was shot by Saeed. And it's in the past, obviously. He meets the leader of the others, Charles Whitmore, who tells him he's one of them. Now, in 1988, I believe, Ben kidnaps Alex as a baby from her mother, Daniel Russo. I must confess, I really thought Ben was her actual father. And then I saw the episode where, you know, Jin is rescued by the, the, the team and he sees a pregnant and young Daniel Russo and she's got a, I don't know if it was her husband at the time or whatnot. So I was very confused and I don't know how I missed all that stuff, but nonetheless, I know now. So uh, he spares her life before leaving. Ben tells Russo to run the other direction if he, she hears whispers. Now, he returns to the other's camp with the baby, which disappoints Charles Whitmore, who wanted Ben to kill both the mother and the daughter. Wow, Charles Whitmore's an asshole. Sometime later, Charles is banished from the island for breaking the rules by leaving the island and frequently and fathering a daughter with an outsider. Now, before he leaves the island by submarine, Charles tells Ben that Ben will ultimately be banished as well because of he was unable to sacrifice Alex's life. Following Alex's death and his leaving the island, Ben confronts Penny and shoots her now husband, Desmond. Now, Ben states his intention to kill Penny in retribution for his own daughter's death, but hesitates upon seeing Penny's son, Charlie. Now, Ben's hesitation allows Desmond to recover and severely beat him up. So that's why when Ben got on the plane, he was in a sling and had cuts all over his face. Now we know. Now, another point, Ben wakes up after, have, after having been knocked out unconscious by his son, he is greeted by Locke, whom Ben previously murdered. Ben tells Locke that he he has broken the rules by returning to the island and the island left and must be judged by the smoke monster or the monster as they're saying. Locker agrees to accompany him to the main island. Before leaving, Ben retrieves a picture of his adopted daughter, Alex, from his old office at the Dharma Initiative Hydra Station. Ben also tricks one of the other survivors from Ajira Flight 316, Caesar, and steals his shotgun. When Ben and Locke try to leave to the smaller island on a canoe, they are halted by Caesar, whom Ben suddenly shoots in the chest. Upon arriving on the main island, Ben and Locke travel to the Dharma Initiative's barracks, where they find Sun and Frank Lapidus. Sun shows him the photograph of Jack, Kate, and Hurley, who have apparently traveled back in time to 1977 and joined the Dharma Initiative, Sun also tells Ben that Christian Shepherd instructed her to wait for Locke because together they will be able to rescue the others from the past. Frank Lapidus decides to return to the smaller island where he is taken hostage by Elana and several other Flight 3116 survivors who ask him if he knows what lies in the shadow of the statue. Meanwhile, back to Ben, Locke, and Son travel to the temple belonging to the island's native population called the Others. Underneath the temple, Ben is separated from Locke and confronted by the smoke monster, which replays several of Ben's memories of Alex. The smoke all of a sudden disappears and a vision of Alex appears to Ben, telling him that she knows of his intention to kill John Locke again. She wants him to follow Locke's lead without question if he wishes to live and do everything that Locke says. Ben agrees, and his life is spared, and that's the end of the episode. So, a lot of Benjamin Linus in this episode. It was it was an okay episode. 
uh, I like the the stuff showing like how evil Charles Whitmore is. I like how Ben's progression, like you're not really sure if you're supposed to root for Ben or you're supposed to hope he dies, but it is what it is. He can do really bad things, really good things. It just depends on what type of mood he is in. As far as, I'm glad he didn't kill Penny, by the way. I, I do like Penny's character. I'm glad he left her be because of her son. So as far as the score of the episode, I'm going to give it an 8.3 out of 10 simply because not a lot of stuff happened. And that's, that's how I feel. But hey, you've heard what I had to say. It's You're free to give your thoughts, so make sure you do so. In fact, you can do that in many ways. First of all, if you're a fan of Lost and you absolutely positively love this show and like, you know, like everything about it, go ahead and smash that like button. You can not like it as well. That helps the channel too, so do whatever you want. If you know anyone else that would be interested in listening to these Lost reviews... Uh, whether they're a super fan of Lost or perhaps they're a casual fan and, and they would participate in the comment section, go ahead and share the video with them. Let them know that they can share with other people if they want to, too. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts, your score, your favorite moment of the episode. Anything that you can think of, just leave a comment. The comments have been a little bare. I comment. Now it's time for you to comment. I'll respond to all comments unless we get, like... 500, which I don't foresee happening, but who knows? Never know, down the road. And then, of course, last but not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your support, and, of course, be a part of something special. And you all know that JDev will return.